All right, guys. Well, the sun is going down, so I was planning on going and shooting somewhere, but I wanted some sunlight. And of course, when people see Josh coming, they just they just immediately all flock towards him. To be honest, guys, like I don't know, I've had like a lot of issues getting like everything going with my YouTube, just how I used to have. You know what I mean? And like. I still want to do it, you know, I, it was like a really big hiccup and like I even made a video about it. Um, and unfortunately it was a video about things getting like crazy on me and then things kind of getting better. But then like things got more crazy after that video. So I was just kind of like, kind of kind of taken back because like I'm not somebody who likes to like, oh, I have a big problem. And then like a month later, oh, I have a big problem. It's like, it's almost like I should just kind of shut up and just wait till the problem's over and then talk about it at that point. You know what I mean? So. Literally guys, I am so happy because this is like the best setup I've ever had for YouTube by far, hands down. The most money I've spent on getting good gear, but not really money spent, but like money spent and I've found good things that like basically improve my YouTube process overall. And I just absolutely love just all the stuff I have. So there's gonna be a lot of videos coming soon, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on, um, it's, I'm gonna call this, um, Thieves and Karma part one, because there's a part one and a part two, and I'm trying not to make it too long here. So part one is this crazy Hail Mary story of how my roommates basically saved my phone from just a horrible mistake that I made. We're the ones to find it. Basically saved my ass. I left my phone at the 99 cent store. They asked the questions. They found one or two girls suspicious. They were able to call their scheme out. And to be honest, guys, especially back in the day, I was, I'm really good at finding like liars and people like who are like thieves and things like that. People who seem off and like, maybe it's because I haven't been in that realm for a while. My radar was a little off, but basically they just hail mary got my phone back and i just literally couldn't believe it like they were calling it like oh it's these girls we keep going up to them and they're gonna get afraid and they're gonna turn it in trust me they told me that i'm like nah it's not true and they went back and they asked again and the ladies like the same ladies that they were pestering ended up dropping it off at um at stater brothers like honestly i don't care about the situation even more because we have to get to part two right so but this is part one so part one what was so devious about it is I went to the girl who I checked. So basically I left my phone at the checkout stand and I left. And then I literally wasn't going to ask to see the cameras because I didn't, I don't really know how it works or who can do that. You know, I just have, don't really know how to ask for that unless like my car's stolen and I asked to check like the street signs or whatever. You know what I mean? First she says she can't get the video footage. Then she says she can. And so like I end up going in there and waiting and she says, oh yeah, the machine has like a glitch, right? And so it shows you like doing some stuff and then it glitches and then like you're like there's another camera that you could get walking out. Well, basically, she literally went in there and deleted the footage of her taking the phone like that is so sketchy and dirty. Like that was so I was like just so sick to my stomach that I had just such like a leech next to me. You know what I mean? So this is part one where my my roommates basically saves my ass like a hundred million percent like. I wouldn't have asked for the footage from the store. They pushed on it. And then they even past that point, they just knew. They just knew that she was, she had it. She was sketched out. I just couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? So this is part, that's part one. And part two, I'm going to give you a little teaser. Part two is like literally the next day. And one of my roommates had shown lots of very, very sketchy red flag signs that I stupidly had been ignoring. And I never really liked his company, but you know, his company from him and his girl, the couple aspect, like I didn't mind them as much. They were much more balanced. Like she kind of balanced the situation out. Unfortunately, I came to that conclusion and I still decided to hang out with them when it's like, you know, that's not my girl. And that's like kind of the only thing holding like making this interesting for me. And like, I don't like hanging out with him should have been the biggest red flag right there. But it's amazing how they, they literally saved my ass, saved my phone, the phone that I'm shooting on right now. I probably wouldn't even have a phone already by this point. I would probably be going through the process. So they saved my ass, got my phone. And like, I just, I could not believe it. And then the very next day I get kind of, or not kind of, I get straight up backstabbed by one of them. And I don't have a hundred percent proof, 
but I, I would bet everything on everything. I would feel bad accusing anybody of anything wrong, and I do not feel bad just laying down the law and just going, you know, basically just going gung-ho on this. But anyways, guys, that's part one. Stay tuned for part two where it kind of all connects and makes just like mind-blowing how they do something so good and then so devious, you know.